I could do it too. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Tiffany. Welcome to my quilting life and to the side of me. I don't know which way it's going to end up being on another screen, but this way I can poke somebody's head. Her name is So Becca. Do it again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I am joined by, by my bestie, So Becca, and you can find her by typing explanation Becca in the chat and it'll take you to her channel, a link to her channel. You guys could subscribe to her. So we decided oh. to go live today and have fun and hang around and hang out with all you out there in the world. <laughs> Let's fix your name there, Tiff. I had to what? fix your name for you because you were showing up as so Becca too. So I changed oh. it. I just clicked on the little three dots and chose edit name and put two. Yeah. Hey ladies. I didn't even know. Hi guys. Yeah. Welcome everybody joining. So today we are working on, Becca knows what it's called. It's right there on the wall. You see that thing I'm pointing at? That's what we're working on. I have one too. It's right here. <laughs> we are working on this today, mm -hmm. which is called Magnolia Star. Magnolia Stars. It's from a pattern that Becca has that we're both working from. Yep. It is a Chelsea Stratton Designs pattern. It's called Magnolia. There are one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So four times four is 16. There are 16 blocks in this quilt and each one of these blocks finishes at 16 inches. And so with the sashing and the cornerstones and the 16 inch huge block, the quilt before any extra borders that you might want to put on it is going to measure 74 inches by 74 inches. The block, because it is so big, goes together really quickly, but there's lots of points here, which I think are just absolutely beautiful. So it's going to take us a little bit of time to put these together. Once we have all those little uh, snowballs on each of those squares that we're putting together, the block is basically going to go together in a jiffy, but you do need to be very careful with your placement because... Yes. I may have had to rip that block out like five times. <laughs> so, but she got it done. Eventually did get it done. Just make sure you're paying attention to the fabric, the, the ones that are going out in the corners. Those are the ones that you need to keep an eye on. So, yep. And the pattern describes all of that. That's right. That's right. The patterns... It's nicely written. I bought it as part of a kit. I'll hold it up here again because people are going to want to know. It is called Magnolia. It is by Chelsea Stratton Designs. You can, you know what, what I will probably do is go see if I can find a link for this and I'll copy it on my clipboard. So when people are asking for it, I can just drop it in the chat. Sure, people. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me go do that while you're getting it's stuff live, What? These pillows are finally done. Did you want to see them? I'm, I'm live right now. I thought I was reading for you. It, I told you it was going on. No, you didn't. Yes, huh? You when? when I was in the garage? <laughs> I told you I was going to read. Am I not? <laughs> well, while they're discussing whether or not Scott's going to read comments, are there any questions that you have for us? It is a downloadable pattern. I'm grabbing a link for it right now for the PDF version that you can get from Fat Quarter Shop, actually, and see if we can get, you can just search Magnolia, you'll find it, but I can get you a link to the pattern directly. So there you go. Oh, let me fix this so it shows up as me. Oh, it'll show up as Tiffany. Tiffany, I can comment as you. There it oh. goes. Bam, look wow. at that. That's I weird. I love... <laughs> <laughs> You're so bad. You're so bad. I'm incorrigible. All yeah. right. So, so what we're going to do is... Cut all your fabric. And then after that, we're going to take big, huge pieces and squares, and we're going to attach 24 snowballed corners oh, to each block that we're making. 
I've got mom sitting over in the corner counting out the 24 squares to snowball all of the pieces and then the eight rectangles to go with it. And then the one center square for your block. And yeah. she said 24 and so did I. She lost count, so she had to start over. <laughs> <laughs> all right so i think i'm gonna get started selling we're gonna yep. take these four squares by the way to make it easier we have already cut this entire kit like uh, yep. it's all cut it's already organized and everything and the pattern tells you it has really good cutting instructions it's actually really easy to cut it's just a lot of cutting and then it tells you to organize your fabrics so that your prints are all together because you're going to use all of these prints in one block. Mm -hmm. So you grab 16 different fat quarters, you'll have 16 different patterned blocks, right? So we've got all of those. And then the other thing that this is what mom's doing is we're taking all of the background extras and we're putting them together and making one stack. So this whole stack will make a block. So we're going to do a block at a time. And it all starts with sewing these dog ears on to these. Yep. You want to tell them how you're doing that so fast there, Tiffy? Oh, because I just do it fast. <laughs> I don't know. There's no method to my madness besides chain piecing the lot of everything, which I'm pretty sure you're doing as well. Right? Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. So welcome everybody coming in. I don't see all the comments as fast. I totally forgot how to, oh, there it is right there. I could put the comments right on the main screen. Mm -hmm. Duh. <laughs> Yep, I can see it coming through too. But if you guys haven't checked out Becca already, you need to go over to her channel by typing explanation Becca, and you can find a link to her channel and go over there and subscribe. She's just as nutty as me. Thanks for that introduction. She's nutty too. <laughs> go check her out. Yeah. Yeah, we randomly decided to do a pattern and take it to the live stream for you guys. It's a lot of fun. Yes. Hello, everybody joining. Are there any questions that you have for Tiffany or myself? Toss them out there in the chat. This is just a random live stream. It wasn't scheduled for anything. We just thought we would go live and show y'all how to make the Magnolia stars. And I make a big long chain piece and I'm turning it around and doing the opposite corners. Yep. And then only on four blocks will I put two more on after they're trimmed and pressed. And then I'm taking a second stitch on each one of my half square or my little snowballs so that I have my actual triangle units, my scrap ones, my tiny piecing. I'm not doing that. I'm just making a stack for now. I'll sew them at a later date with my trusty Lamborghini here. <laughs> so we're going to try to sew all we can during this video. A couple blocks maybe because they're quite large and you know, 24 snowballed corners is a lot to do for one block. <laughs> it is. But chain piecing does help it go by faster. Yep. Very much so. And sewing, right? Like having somebody that you can talk to while you're doing it is nice too, because then you're like, you're laughing at burps and stupid things because <laughs> yeah. you like stupid humor. <laughs> you're laughing yeah. at stupid stuff. And then before you know it, you have everything all done. 
Yep, exactly. <laughs> Teresa Are you guys said, making the same size? Yes, it's the same size. This quilt is just a one size quilt, right? Yep. Yep. All the blocks are 16 inches plus frozen sashing. I mean, you could just, honestly, the blocks are so big. They're 16 inches. You could make that as a, just one block by itself, be a table runner. And it's a fat quarter bundle and four and a half yards of fabric. Yeah. And depending on the fabric line, you don't even need the full fabric. You don't even need the full fat quarter bundle because you only need 16 nope. fat quarters. And that's a generous cut. You have more than enough left to do something else. Yep. So you can make a whole nother project with your 16 fat quarters. Yep. That's what we're doing. What did Teresa's comment say? Uh, I can't see. Hold on. Where did uh -oh. it go? I'm getting it. Hold on. Uh, looks like Sean, the guy who sews, is here. Balloonist is here. Linda. Sarah says, wow, that's a great size. Lori Miller says, this is a great surprise. I'm almost home for my last day of my job. I'm not driving. Boss is driving. Carissa says she's sewing something else, but sewing along with us. Sharon awesome. is using exclamation pattern to get the pattern link. Let oh, just... yeah. We're not on Becca's channel, so I don't have those set up. But I did just paste the pattern into the chat, so you guys should have it. Um, I don't I don't see Teresa's comment. Is she here? Oh. Martha's Creative Life said, I made a YouTube video, Becca. Good. Good job. Della called us two nutty bars. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And well, together we're, we're tutti fruities. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> you off, Lenny. That's my name. Don't wear it out. Too funny. I feel like I should commentate like a race. See it in a sport. <laughs> <laughs> that was from Sarah Case. You're already cutting. And it's a miracle, guys. I am using white as my background fabric. <laughs> never, never before seen on Tiffany's Quilting Life. <laughs> white background fabric. Good golly, what's gotten into me? All right. All right, now I need to cut these and then sew the square onto the other opposite corners. So we're making a single unit that looks, well, we're making four units that look like this, that only have snowballs on two corners. And then the other unit we're making is, give me two seconds to finger press this, a unit that looks like this and not only are we snowballing the two corners but we're going to do the other two corners after they are pressed yep so the two the four squares that we're making will have snowballs in opposite corners and then the rectangles will have a snowball on all four corners yep and we're not going to give you the cutting instructions because that's in the pattern and it's not our pattern that's right we can only tell you how to put it together. That's right. Hold me closer, tiny quilt. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I thought we moved on. No, sorry. We never move away from Tony Danza. It's okay. <laughs> but in my head, Elton John is singing, Hold Me Closer, Tony Danza. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Elton John would sing. <laughs> 
telling you, Danza. I knocked my thread out of the hole. Well, you know, when that happens, it just gives me a chance to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, everybody, joining in. Welcome to the live stream. I feel like that SNL skit from like the 70s with Steve Martin and Dan Aykroyd, where they used to go around and go, we're two wild and crazy guys. <laughs> Funny. Jason McBrayer says, I've been waiting and I'm late. <laughs> You're not late. We just came on a few minutes ago. Hello, hello, everybody. Hi, guys. You're just joining. My guest is Becca from So Becca. You can do explanation Becca in the chat, and it'll give you a link to her channel. Go check her out. She's my best friend. We are two wild and crazy quilters. Yep, you got to do it with that tone. We're two wild, wild and crazy, crazy quilters. <laughs> I told Tiffany, I went to the grocery store today and I'm walking down the aisle and what starts playing, but hold me closer, Tony Danza. <laughs> <laughs> it's never going to leave my mind. Never going to leave. <laughs> We're stuck with it forever. <laughs> Does There's anyone three. sharpen their rotary blades? And if so, how? Well, I do not, but they do make rotary blade sharpening tools. The Grace Company has one that I know of. But I I'd rather just buy a new one. Sarah wants to know how you're feeling. I am feeling like a million dollars. Not. <laughs> <laughs> I need some pool therapy, but I'm sewing, which is quilt therapy, but I do need some pool therapy today. But the pool was not the good temperature that I like it. You guys take a minute and go look. She posted a one minute video that she edited. She took some footage of her in the pool and she edited it down and put some music to it. It's on her channel. You should go check it out. It's only a minute yep. long, so it you could go watch it and come right back. <laughs> yeah. I spent a lot of time editing that. It was really, really fun, though, playing with the editor. Yeah. Enjoying the fact that I have no idea what I'm doing, but I it turned out good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I've got all of these squares with the corners dog-eared and now I've got my rectangles done and so now I'm going to put my dog ears on the opposite two corners. I'm using tone on tone for my background which is a bane like I, I love tone on tone in a quilt but sometimes I hate working with it because I put it on backwards like yeah. Mm -hmm. But I did just notice that the right side of this tone on tone feels different than the back side. So I'm hoping that that will help me. Does it feel like that plastic feel? No, not, no, no, but it's Does a little bit. have that like plastic overlay feel? Yeah, this one doesn't, but it is, it's a little scratchier. But Teresa's getting a hot tub at her daughter's house. Can't wait to set it up. Shoot, I'm coming over. Let's go. I like hot tubs too. That's a long drive for me, though. <laughs> Will take you a little bit. Yeah, I'll take more than a little bit. So yeah, basic spots this month would be great for this pattern. Yes, it would. Yeah. I got and, and that's another thing I'm doing different. I'm actually using basic 
colors for this quilt. So not only am I using white, which is like super rare as a background, but I'm actually using basics mm -hmm. as my stars. It's a miracle. Something just clicked in my brain. My block said I don't want to hang out on your shelf anymore. It gone down and fell down. It did. It did. Linda, Becca will put a link to the pattern or you could scroll up. It should still be there from the last time she put it in. There it is. She's the tech. I'm the talent. <laughs> She's not wrong. <laughs> She's not wrong. Just being silly about it. Couldn't you tell? A TT tech talent. Oh. I didn't want to stand up, but I ended up standing up. Did you did you see my boxers? Good. I'm hoping not. <laughs> well, Business up top, pajamas on the bottom. That's how it works. <laughs> the only reason I'm wearing real pants today is because I went out and about. <laughs> 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 Judith says we just crack her up. I just said that. Did you not hear me? No, I did not. Between mom having being peanut gallery over there, she's trying to add <laughs> the commentary, the sewing machine, you, and this block falling down. I'm having a heck of a time keeping up with all the input. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Okay. I'm waiting for my iron to get warm. Iron Man bailed on you? Yeah. That's fine. Did he get his couch thing all situated? Yep. All that yep. work. Yep. <laughs> it's a lot of work, but it's done. And I put the purple cover over the couch instead. <laughs> so now it's nice Did and purple. Do they know about what the couch situation was? No, I haven't said anything. So if you guys are haven't been paying attention on my channel, a couple weeks ago, Scott and I bought a couch for $20 at a thrift store. And I liked it. And he liked it. But in the thrift store, we both liked it. And we got it home and he absolutely hates it. <laughs> and I started to hate it and you can't lay down on it and whatever, but it had recliners. I, I mean, it was like perfect, but not, but it wasn't <laughs> what we thought. So we actually, the other couch that we had, we took it over to our son's house so that he can have a second couch. And well, I called him up and said, Hey, do you want to switch couches again? And he was like, <laughs> okay. So now he has the reclining leather couch and we have our original couch back. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, so it's a it's a big old big old ordeal. <laughs> Teresa McRae said she actually ordered herself the newest version of the cordless iron. Oh, cool. Rhonda Mc, I'm not even gonna mess that name up, but Rhonda says she enjoys watching us sew together. I enjoy sewing with Becca, and then I enjoy bringing you all in on the fun times. Fun times. That's All right. Like times at Ridgemont High. That's another good movie. Yeah. Time to lay out this big, huge block. And I did not set up another camera. So I'm just going to lay my pieces where I need them and put them together. And then I'll show you how they go. I could set I can up, remember. I could set up my second camera. It won't take. Oh, no, it's fine. I could okay. plug mine in too. Okay. I just don't feel like it. So I was mine's just going to. I just need to press the power button. Oh, well, I guess you can. Yeah. If you're going to stay low tech, I'm going to stay low tech in solidarity with you. I will just make the pieces and hold them up and say, this is how it goes. 
Come on. That's as low tech as I'm going to go. I'll, I'll give you, I'll set it up and I'll go into a second camera so that we can see the building of the block a little bit, but it's going to be, just give me a second. Give him Becca a second. Yeah, this is a block that you must lay out. Mm -hmm. And then you make your pieces or your units and then you lay it back out <laughs> before you sew it together. So the middle row is going to be, get this out of the way. There we go. The middle row is going to be those two rectangular units. With, with a, square. a white square. Yeah. Annette enjoys watching us good besties sewing together, holding, she's holding her new sleeping granddaughter. So what better way to pass the time than watching us two? Awesome. Congratulations on the new baby granddaughter. Yeah. Granddad. Babies are so cute until they wake up. <laughs> Sorry. I had to throw that in there. And the other unit we are making looks like this. I would have laid it out and showed y'all, but this is what it looks like. So I'm making four of these units. And then there's a centerpiece. Right. Which Becca has laying somewhere right there. I haven't put it together just yet. Give me a second. It's fine. Remember, I'm always one step ahead. She's like 15 steps ahead most of the time. It's okay, though. I don't mean to be. It just happens that way. It's okay. Aloha, L'Oreal. Laurel. Did I say that right? Laurel. I almost said L'Oreal. Like makeup? So it kind of probably came out almost sounding like that. That'll work. Okay. Um, I've got that set up. All right. Let me get... Don't forget to take a second and head over to Becca's channel and subscribe. She'll really appreciate it, and I'll really appreciate it if you do. Hello. Hello. Did I'm you here. lose your? Yeah, I hear you. No. I hear you. Oh, hold on. It would help if I turned my volume on on my computer because I had my volume turned off and I couldn't hear myself. Ooh. I couldn't hear you. I just saw lips. I was like, oh, what? what's going on with that? <laughs> yeah, I just have you on the computer only too. Got it. Because I don't know how to get the other stuff working yet. Not a problem. I'm just going to go into the YouTube video really quick and pull up the chat so I can comment as myself and not you because that probably oh. would be a good idea. That's perfectly fine. Hold me closer, Tony Dan. <laughs> I need a new song to be stuck in my head. <laughs> Let the bodies hit the floor. No, I'm just kidding. Sorry. Ah. <laughs> Where did that come right away? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> okay. 
sorry. Let me try to think of something else. Not everybody is up to date on my super heavy metal-y type stuff. <laughs> in about 10 years. It's a hard rock song from like the late 90s, I think. Yeah. There we go. That's... I've got a tingle in my thread. A tangle? Yeah, that was weird. It never tangles. Not this brand, but it did. It was kind of weird. My glide tangles all the time. On the long arm, I get about four tangles per spool of thread. Which to me, that's a lot. And I just air sewed. Was I just out of bobbin and didn't know it? And that's why I tangled? No, Maybe. I nope, I have okay. bobbin. That means I have some other issue going on here. Okay, so back to what we were doing before I took my tech break while the talent kept going. This is the middle row that we're going to build. So I'm going to sew the rectangles on either side of the square. Where are you going? You running I'm away to get more away thread? From the camera for two seconds. It's talking to Tiffany. Hmm. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I need to put this there and that here. I'm creating myself a big disaster in my courtroom, real quick. There we Not really. I'm actually screwing the camera on the base. Oh, okay. Are you setting stuff up now, too? <laughs> yeah, because I feel like just having yours only showing, we need both when we're doing that, like both cameras facing down. Yeah. I don't think the camera is supposed to be on this base, but I'm going to do it anyway, because why not? Let's see if it helps all this equipment and some of it just isn't meant for see when we have impromptu we go with no plan and then we quickly realize that we want all the all the things that we're used to so we can it's easier to show you than to describe what we're doing so yep my own personal thing i'm wondering if this is gonna work how do i do that again i totally forgot how to have my second camera right there right there no 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 isn't it that plus sign that says new yeah and it's either presentations device. video storage local video rmp source what is it hmm. I don't remember. Um, I I don't know. Because I've never... I do everything... Oh, here we go. Video. Okay. Found it. Let's see. I'm glad you found it. Ta-da! Right. There you go. So I've done the middle. Tiffany's done all the pieces. <laughs> so I pieced my middle row. And... <laughs> The next step is going to be to build my four corners. And this is the piece where we have to be there careful. Is. We have to make sure that the little piece of color is coming out and away from that center block. So, well, mine is not a far away view. Mine's like a super up close view. That's okay. That's weird. So you can see half of it from mine and the whole thing on Becca's. <laughs> well, I wonder if we do, what happens if we do it like this? Oh, yeah. There we go. You can do we that if you want to do that. We both have full control over this stuff, guys, if anybody's curious about that. <laughs> or, there, look, now I'm picture in picture and they can see yours. 
Oh, that doesn't have to be like that. We could share. I can be the peanut gallery on the side. You could be. It don't matter as long as they know that this piece hooks to this piece. And you are doing it by the row in the center, aren't you? Yep. Yeah, I'm doing it the chain piecing way. See, every quilter does something different. That's right. And none of them Not are wrong. It's just different. So yes. what I'm doing now is sewing my rectangle of background fabric onto one of these little squares that we dog-eared earlier. And I'm making sure to put the background on like the right side or the left side because it's going to be in the outer part of the block. I don't know how to run both cameras. I'm just going to keep it right here. That's fine. <laughs> I don't know how to do picture and picture on mine. Uh, I can tell you off camera. I'll walk you through it. Yeah. Like, you require using OBS as a virtual cam. Yeah, we'll figure it out later. I'm not worried. Yours shows the same exact thing as mine. They know what we're doing and what we're building. Yep. Got to be careful to really not turn around these corners. I may be speaking from experience on this. Yeah. Well, that's where putting them right back where they go helps. That's right. And that's having it laid out on the table right next to me as I'm sewing this together is what really makes, makes this a lot easier. So now that I've got these pieces on the sides of the four cornerstones, I'm going to take my remaining four background squares and these corners of the print, and I'm just going to sew them together because that's going to go on the top here and then on the bottom here, and then I'll be able to put my top and bottom row together and put the block together. What she said. <laughs> yeah. What you already did. <laughs> While I was fiddling around with cameras. Mm -hmm. I don't do it on purpose. That's okay. Like you said, you're the talent. I'm the tech. I get excited <laughs> about having all the cameras. <laughs> I get excited just hanging out and working on something with you. That's true. I'm really, I think this is going to go together a lot faster than I originally thought. Yeah, it's not taking. I thought because of we cut so many pieces, we did. <laughs> that was what was going to take forever is cutting all that because that was a lot of cuts. Indeed, it looks like the Ellen magnolia changed. stars. The magnolia pattern is in the it's there's a link somewhere up there. Becca will throw it in every now and then because I don't have it. Sorry, I'm so very sleepy. Um, there's no, inf the explanation pattern doesn't work for this. Uh, on my channel, we didn't set it up because we're only on mine today. And I don't have those kind of things set up because I don't really follow patterns. <laughs> so I never set those kind of things up. That's okay. They can still pop the pattern in the chat yeah. and if they do i will be more than happy to just copy to put the link in <laughs> yep that's fine i'll be your bot today. you'll be the bot i'll be the bot today <laughs> Is mama still counting pieces mama got up and walked out i think because she was uh sad that the conversation was not revolving around her <laughs> I, actually that's not true that sounds horrible but she was she was over there trying to be funny and keep up with the comments and i i just i couldn't keep up with her chatter and your chatter and the chat box 
That's a lot. Joyce says so she's, she's so happy. We decided to share our sew together. Oh, I'm so happy you're here to share with us. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Uh, Mary said, pretty blocks. Just realized Tiffany is back. Your iron is on her left instead of the right. Oh, okay. It is on my left. This is my right. Oh, do you have the mirror camera set up um, in your video settings? Hold on. I got to look at the screen and see. I don't know. It looks right to me. I don't no, know. no. I'm saying like under video settings, go to the gear icon. Oh, yeah. Let me look. And then mirror it. Video. Yeah, it's on. Mirrored camera. Okay. Well, looks fine They're to me. They're probably not used to me using my, um, my whatchamacallit, iron anyway, to the side of me. Yeah. And in reality, this block, when it all goes together, it looks the same no matter which way you rotate it. So yep. it, you don't have to worry about what side is left or right. Just make sure that when you're putting the corner units together, you're doing it so that this goes away from that center square. And then you have the cornerstones and the outer edge. I don't know if you got a regular glide thread, but I was late. I tried to put a cone net on the spool. It comes off the cone too fast. That worked for me. Yeah, I use a thread net too, Amy. Um. Uh, my mom has gone into the front room and decided she's going to talk to Jason. I can hear them out there having a lovely conversation. And I wonder <laughs> if she's convincing him to get Chick-fil-A <laughs> for dinner. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> She probably right is. Before, right before we went live, she said, what's for dinner? I was like, probably going to fend for yourself tonight. Or and she was like, oh, I'll, you can go cook. It is okay. Oh, we could order something in, but I'm not cooking dinner tonight. Oh, <laughs> so disappointed. Tiff is using her left-handed machine, Pepsi Girl said. Oh. Well, let's see if unmirroring it helps. Maybe. For those. Is that better? Oh, I think that's the angle that they're used to seeing from you. Oh. I am on the laptop and not on the cell phone, so... That might the be cell part phone of it. automatically is whatever way I am is the way I am. The way you is is the way you is. Yep, exactly. Everybody's saying that's much better. So Good. funny they get used to seeing you a certain way. You're throwing <laughs> yeah. for a loop. <laughs> right. <laughs> Mary said, that is the right view for us now. <laughs> Marla said, we love to see your ribbons, Tiffany. Oh. <laughs> I like to see them too. They're starting to fray. That's you know, that's very weird that they're fraying, yet I don't move them. They just sit there hanging on the wall <laughs> and the ends of them are fraying. Like they don't even get touched. Like, how is that even possible? Well, I don't know. It's very weird pressing a 16-inch block in my lap on a little 12-inch <laughs> pressing mat. I actually, when I once the block is put together, like I'm finger pressing it all this yep. way. But once the block's done, I'm going to walk over to my ironing board and press the whole block. And then I'll come back and do another one because it's just, right. it's too big to press over here. And my, my surface is only a 12-inch. There is my second block. Looks nice. I'm almost done with my second one. I guess I could put it back here with block number one. Now I have two blocks. Now look at that. You just multiplied. 
Yep. Good job. Yep. Good job. And that the basics gorgeous, I'm using, beautiful. if anybody's curious, I'm actually using a 2011 line of uh, connecting threads basics with stars on them. Oops. So they're super cute. Tracy from the Sewing Channel is here. What? Tracy from the Sewing Channel is here. Hey, Tracy. Wow, so prep for an un upcoming video. She's prepping. Ah. I guess we would be very fun to listen to you while prepping for stuff. Uh, the fabric line that I am using is called Seashore Drive, I believe, by Sherry and Chelsea. Is that flowers on it? Yeah, this one is. I got a charm pack of it I can show you. It's if I knew where colored. I set the charm pack. I don't know where I set the charm pack, so no. Oh, that's not. I'm here somewhere. Kathy said she loves your nail polish. It's Ferrari red. Because I'm, you know, <laughs> using Ferrari, so. It was, it was a summer joke, actually, because, you know, I don't drive a fancy sports car. <laughs> I wanted fancy sports <laughs> car nails. <laughs> Funny thing is, is like three days ago when I was out, there was a Ferrari. And guess what color it was? The same as my name. Red? Yep. There you go. There it is. People drive them around here. I don't know why. It's not very far. You can't go faster than 35. <laughs> I'm going to go press my block. You press that block. You press that block. Back. Press that block. Oh, yeah. Press that block. Hey, Teresa. Is that Teresa Louise? The pattern, yeah, that Teresa Louise is in. The pattern, Marla, takes four and a half yards of background fabric, and then it takes a 16-piece fat quarter bundle. But you can get a second quilt out of the fat quarter bundle. Just because, about. Yeah, it has a lot of leftovers. I'm going to make you a, a mod, Tracy, because that way when you're here. Mom, you're getting a phone call. I almost... I forgot what corner I was sewing on. Easily distracted. I think it's on ringing now. He's uh, making some. Okay. I have most of those squares done. Okay, thank you. I'm having waffles. Waffles. <laughs> Butter and syrup. <laughs> Quite an easy job, Tracy. Just catching the bad guys, that's it. Oh, come on. Boop, 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 boop,
boo, 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 boo. You feel like going to the circus? I uh, Piccadilly Circus. <laughs> There's my block. Oh, it's so pretty. Hole. It is. I need to go get another pile. Mom's Mama didn't put next to you. For me. Huh? <laughs> Mama didn't put them next to you. No, but that's okay. I'm gonna grab a couple. Ooh, Jason just said something about chilies. Now I want chilies baby back ribs. Oh my goodness. Chili Get on that food baby truck. back ribs. Barbecue sauce. Yum. Oh no, right. yum is from the other place. Red Robin. Yeah, yum. Oh yeah. Yum. Red Robin. Yum. Yum. Ooh, Sue just got home from Tea Quilts Retreat and had she met an amazing young man that we both know. Best five days Mr. I've had in a long Dr. time. Yeah. That's right. It looked like you guys had a lot of fun at the retreat. I know. I was I was secretly jealous. It's like, oh, that looks like a lot of fun. I want to go to I've a never retreat. been on a retreat. So any retreat looks fun to me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's go. Let's find a retreat and go. Yeah. Can it be here we... on the warm side of the country? <laughs> That's fine. Let's go. <laughs> How about a retreat in Vegas? Swimming Who's... pools and sewing machines. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Underwater sewing and sewing. Yeah. No machine. <laughs> Does the mod job only work in live chat or does it also see something bad in the comments? Yeah, you can get rid of something bad in the comments as well. Okay. <laughs> you doing... made Gloria hungry for barbecued mm. ribs now. <laughs> Coltessa cool. said our Vegas retreat would be awesome. It Wouldn't would be. It? Let us know if you find out about one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somebody else there, plan it. <laughs> is there like Maybe a place like a read? You know how you can find like business boards, like you know that place, uh, that thing that there's always commercials of for uh, Angie's List or something like that. Yeah. Well, do they have one for a board for retreats, like a retreat list for quilters, like Not a website dedicated of. just to retreats? Even ones that are on cruise ships and everything, you know. Somebody should start a website for retreats and find out about all the retreats in the country throughout the year. That would I mean, actually be helpful. Somebody should also start a website with a list of all of the quilt shops, physical quilt shops, quilt shops. in the country. Yep. And have it be able to locate you based on your phone. Yeah, that would be an app, a phone app, right? Yep, yep, yep. So that you don't have to search for it and then have like all of the information for the quilt shop, like what their hours are, what their address is, get you directions to it, and be able to plot it along your route. That guy, I think you, you just made yourself a new thing. You just get into that techie stuff and make an app. What is the word for it again? Uh, make an app. I, I don't know how uh, the word I'm not is. a developer. Design. Design an app. Oh, I can design it, but I can't code it. So somebody else yeah. needs to do that. I don't know how to do any of that. I, need somebody I used to know how to do it on uh, MySpace. Remember when MySpace was MySpace? I used to know how to write the codes to make my MySpace page like super awesome. <laughs> Quill Tessa said, a, seriously, yeah. if you want, if you want, I'll do some of the legwork on a Vegas retreat. If somebody plans a Vegas retreat, I will do my best to go as long as you work around my schedule. <laughs> yep, Becca still has to go to her nine to five or six to four or whatever. <laughs> seven to three, seven to four. Actually, it's seven to four. So gotta I still go got to go to my seven to four. <laughs> she's got to go bust those kitties as her cat wrangler job. Yeah, I manage cats. 
those kitty cats need managing. Yes, they do. It's too hot in Vegas, said Teresa. <laughs> yeah, no, also, can, you make, can we please do a, uh, can we do it like in the winter? <laughs> yeah, winter time in this area is not hot. Like 2024, January, that would be great. Give me a year to save up. <laughs> Sandy said she'd go. But I wanted the swimming pool. <laughs> well, the swimming pool would be a hotel, damn it. <laughs> I guess it could be heated. If the retreat center has a heated pool, I'll be swimming. I'll be outside on the patio, sewing and in with my feet in the pool. <laughs> if we go, if somebody actually does that, we should get an Airbnb. Yeah. That'd be fun. Got lots ah. of those in my area. Sarah said, does uh, so yeah have room in their new space? They have classrooms that are pretty big, and I'm sure if you talk to them, they would gladly rent out their classroom space. Yeah. Karina wants to know, can you take the heat, Tiffany? Can I what? Take the heat? Yeah. I think it's the I cold you have a problem with. I, I can't take the cold. heat. I don't want the heat. I don't mind when it's 115 outside. I still go outside. Uh, Quiltessa said, how about March or February? February 24 is not a good time for me because QuiltCon is happening. Um, On that side and I, of the country. In Rome, yeah, and that's in Raleigh, North Carolina, and I'm going. So it would have to be like March 2024. It could even be March of 2023. Tiffy wants to go to Quilt Con, though, too, in 24 and 23 and in 24. But anything I later had so than much March. Fun, but next time I'm using a scooter. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know my what? legs are if healed you... from February. If you go, if there's a quilt con on your side of the country and we both get to go, I will rent a scooter and I'll ride with you in the basket. Will that be cool? <laughs> yeah. Or we can both get one and we'll ride like next to each other, like gangster style with the lean. You know, you know, yeah. like you gotta do like the <laughs> and can we like wear can we wear gray hair wigs? Oh, that'd be awesome. With, with quilt, we'll go with incognito. Quilt on. We'll wear a quilt jacket. It'll, that'd be awesome. Tracy said she would be interested. Sandy said they'd be interested. Somebody needs to make that happen. I am not planning the retreat. Me I will I go and be participant. I, I don't know. I, well, it's not that I don't know how to plan. I just know what I have bandwidth for, and I don't have bandwidth to plan an event. So if somebody plans that, I will gladly go as a paying participant. You know how I planned my kids' birthday parties? I called everyone up and said, in five minutes, can you come over here and have some cake and ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> Shauna Christensen said she could bring her scooter, too. Yeah, I'm not a planner. I just kind of do. At that very moment. Laurel said she'd love to go to a retreat. Retreats are fun. If you have the ability to go to one, I would totally recommend. Totally recommend. Quiltessa says she's planned them before. Well, that I like I don't want the stress of planning one. I've got too much other stuff going on. If somebody None plans one in Vegas and lets me know about it and it works for my calendar, I would consider going. I just want to pay and go. I don't want to go. And I don't want it to be like, see the thing that I'm afraid of by talking, even talking about this is that what this will turn into is everybody's going to start saying, oh, Becca and Tiffany are having a retreat. No, Becca and <laughs> Tiffany are not having a retreat. Just let's, let's, <laughs> Becca and yeah. Tiffany are not planning a retreat. Like, let's, 
Let's just be clear. Yeah. Becca and Tiffany will try to go. <laughs> yep. I changed the camera angle so that everybody can see how this gets laid out again. Get it laid out, girl. <laughs> Is it hard to sew with a bunch of people? I don't think so. So the only, truthfully, I've never been to a retreat that worked on a project, like the same project. The only retreats I've ever been to have been UFO based. So you bring your own project, your own thing. I got to move my mic. And your you sew at your own time Yep. while you're having That's fun. Right. So your own thing, your own time. And just enjoy, enjoy everybody's company. That's right. That's I'm it. sure That's you would meet tons and tons of awesome people, though. Yeah. I would have a hard time remembering names. That's my thing. Big things. I would be like, what was your name again? <laughs> The only retreat I have ever been to, the only one I go to, is one in July in Alabama. And it is with some ladies that I have known for years. I know them in real life, and we have a blast. And it's literally, you just show up, you bring your machine, you bring your own project, your own project to work on, and that's what you work on for a few days, and then you go home. That sounds like fun, though. Yep. Just do your own thing. Yep. I mean, it's 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 a different atmosphere because you don't do your um, like you don't do. You can only show with people on on Zoom and or have them over to your home, but there's just something. It feels like a vacation because nobody really changes out of their pajamas. You kind of throw your hair up in crazy bun. You turn on some music. You get inspired by what other people are creating around you. Um, you show it off, but then there's also some games that we play too. And it's, it's, it's Teresa uh, McBrayer says, have everyone wear name tags. That's what I would be like. Can you please put a name tag on? Because yep. I will not remember. Well, if you're going to a retreat where you, you don't know anybody or a lot of the people, I think wearing a name tag is a great idea. Yeah. Everyone knows who I am because they see me every day on camera, you know, but yeah, I wouldn't know who everyone else is. So as everyone can see, I'm putting my pieces back where they go. Hey, Stephanie. Huh? My iron turned off. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, Donna. Somebody, somebody did mention in the chat that Stephanie and Yvette are planning retreats. Yep, they sure are. And yep. you can go check all of them out on their website. They've got a number of them. So if you're looking to sign up for a retreat that they're hosting, go for it. Suppose theirs, I think, are all over the country. Well, like they're going from one coast to the other with theirs. Yeah. So. What fabric line do you like using? I I'm am... using... Go ahead. You go ahead. Fine. I am using Seashore Drive, I think, by Sherry and Chelsea. I think it's Sherry. Right. So, and I am using a basics line from Connecting Threads from 2011. <laughs> they probably <laughs> still sell it, but it's definitely an older line of basics. Bum, bum. 
Are you working on your fourth block or your third? Third. Okay. I'm not that far ahead. I'm sewing kind of slow. Yeah, and I'm not. I'm keeping up, but I have had to stop to take moments to get tech and stuff set up. So it's fine. I'm not going super fast because if I start forcing myself to be like, oh, I got to go faster, I got to go faster, I got to go faster, then I turn into this thing where, what is that? Oh, that's my phone. I turn into this moment where I've got. Work. I turn into a frazzled mess and I end up making mistakes. And that's not good. Well, I am just making sure I put every piece block a block every piece block after I block it. <laughs> every block piece block after you block every it. piece block back piece after I saw it. <laughs> and then I break thread. What is wrong with you today? So yeah, I was talking about a Vegas retreat Saturday. Were they? I'll have to check with Brody. Starting one? I want to go. Like, if they're going to plan one, I'll go. But again, as long as it works for my calendar. Yeah. Oh. You can't leave the cats hanging. I can't leave the cats. I only get so much time away from the cats every year. Karina likes my fabric. Thank you. I think Sarah it's wants to know our process on picking a pattern. I just pick up one and start sewing. What is yours, Becca? I, I picked this pattern because I really liked the look of the stars. I like the block. If I like the way the quilt looks, then I'll buy the pattern. That's my process. <laughs> yeah. I usually make my do my own pattern. So this is if this is a rare occurrence that I'm following a pattern. Like very I, rare. I love to design a quilt, like to draw it out, sketch it out, whatever, right? I really love doing that. I won't lie. The problem that I have is I don't have the time to write a pattern. Again, it's all about knowing your own bandwidth. I don't have bandwidth to write a pattern. So yeah. as much as I would like to be able to take time to set that aside and do it and write it and sell it and whatever else comes with it, I can't do that right now. So I don't. And then I also look at it like all these like there are so many pattern writers out there. Somebody has had to have wrote a pattern Unless you're, you're like, yeah, unless you're designing like an applique image that you freehand draw or paper piecing, at some point, all of those quilts start to like you start stepping, you make little tweaks, but they all end up being the same. Yep. So I just, I just pick a pattern that I like. I'll follow the instructions in the pattern. If I want to tweak the size, I'll do math to resize it. But that's kind of it. And then I always get weary about giving like the instructions out unless it's a standard block. Because I'm, again, afraid that somebody could come across my video and be like, well, I wrote a pattern just for what you're doing. That's copyright infringement. And I just like, I just want to make videos. <laughs> I don't want to yeah. get into all that. <laughs> so. Shauna says she thinks patterns are confusing. I think they can be. I think some, I think some patterns can be very confusing. If you, yep. I, I think some are written really well. Some are very confusing. And some I just learn better by just watching a video. Bag patterns are the most confusing. Oh my God. Right? Yeah. I have learned Give that and that's why I make my own. <laughs> Give me a pattern for a bag, or give me a video for a bag, and I'll sew it any day of the week. Give me a pattern, and we're going to have to talk. Yeah. The instructions feel like they're leaving things out. It's not as detailed. It's like a quilt pattern. Yeah. The 
I'm seeing if the, there's a difference between pressing in between every section or not. <laughs> I never do this, but I'm doing it just to see. Kelly says Alaska cruises are more expensive because everyone and their brother wants to go there. <laughs> oh, I probably. That's why Scott and I haven't planned our cruise yet that we want to go on because we go already on. know it's going to be costly no matter where we go. We really want to Teresa, Mc Teresa McBrayer said that cozy quilt designs make some of the easiest patterns to understand. Oh, yeah. I've done lots of cozy quilt ones. When I do other people's patterns, it's cozy quilt designs. Julie said, I don't know what she said before it. Oh, Nancy said, Becca, what is the name of your mic? It doesn't pick up your machine. I use a Rode Wireless Go mic. And that's what I'm using. It's a lapel mic. It sits on my collar and it's designed to pick up my voice, not much of the background noise. So uh, usually when I'm sewing, you won't hear like the machine as loudly as you would if I just was using like an onboard mic from my computer. And I am not using a mic because <laughs> mine don't work with my computer until I could figure it out. But I did find the attachment finally that I was looking for forever in a day. I just haven't plugged it in and seen if that was going to help or not. Technology takes time to test and understand and get all the right chords. In the Once I figure that out, I could probably go live from the computer more often. I just need to figure out the microphone thing. And my microphone hasn't been working with my with my cell phone either when I go live. It's I don't mm. know what's wrong with it, but I shall figure it out sooner or later. I mean, I'm learning how to do cool edits, so I you should are. be able to learn how to uh, make a microphone work. <laughs> You'll get it. It's just all about the hardware. You got to get the right cord. All right. There is my third block. Right there. Right there. Well, I am uh, still working on my third. So move on to your fourth, girl. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. All right, let's switch back to the front thing. Do, 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 do. Well, hello there. I'm back to a front facing. <laughs> <laughs> I've been facing the other way this whole time. You sure have. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. Move that block out of the way. Grab another one. Ooh, it's purple. I'm going to do a purple black. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Just need these. My oh, hair is mother. everywhere, and it landed on my leg, and it felt like something was crawling on me. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Are you going to do a giveaway? We'll see. Yes. We're getting a block with loads of... <clears throat> All right. Now for some more snowballing. Does my mic get dulled 
does, does it build my machine at least some automatically? Um, no, but if you go into settings on your computer and then go to audio, there's a noise suppression and an echo cancellation. If you check both of those, that should help. Find it? Yeah, I'm looking out for input general. You go to settings and then audio, third option down, and then it's two toggle switches underneath your audio input and audio output. I don't have that on mine. I have oh. like microphone or a smart sound technology, but I don't have a digital microphone hooked up. No, no, no. Settings and restream, not your oh. computer settings settings audio echo cancellation noise suppression they're both clicked on they're blue yep okay oh, then oh you well. got the best you can have for now yeah once you set it once you set your restream stuff up so that you're using um so that you're using obs or streamlabs mm -hmm to power your cameras and feed that into Restream, then you can set up some noise filters on your microphone in Streamlabs to take some of that edge off. Yeah. I'll figure it out. I'm not gonna play with it too much right now. I was just gonna see if it, you know, makes it a little bit lighter. Cause I don't know if when I sew, since mine doesn't suppress and you're talking, I don't know if people can hear, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's why I've been sewing lightly when you're talking. <laughs> oh, just go. Tamara is loving the time together, but needs to take advantage of the cooler weather and get back out and do some yard work before the temps back into the 90s tomorrow. Thanks, ladies. Ooh. So, bye, Tamara. It's only 100 here today. Only a hundred. It's a nice day here today. Only a hundred. Well, it's good though. My um, table, the juice and shake my sewing cabinet, and I have a cup that sits on my table with all of these sewing notions and stuff in it. And whenever I'm sewing, it goes slowly like it edges over to the edge of the table until eventually it just goes, okay, I'm done. Bye. <laughs> it just jumps off. So it just That's fell. Funny. <laughs> You're going too fast for me. My table kind of vibrates, but not much because it's the really, really, really heavy duty office table. So the main things that fall off are like seam rippers. It'll roll off from vibration after a while. Nancy Robinson said it hit 99 there today, which is really abnormal for Minnesota. But every wow. year it seems to get warmer. Good time to have air conditioning. Arena says it's past midnight in the Netherlands. Laurel says it's always in the 80s here with a nice breeze. Where is that? Hawaii. Oh. She's in Hawaii. Where oh. Eric just was. Let's go to Hawaii. Should. Can somebody create a quilt retreat in Hawaii? <laughs> right? That would be an expensive retreat, though. Because even just be. milk there is expensive. 
Nobody ain't drinking no milk on that retreat. No cereal for breakfast. <laughs> sure, like so that's her husband just told her she can't buy more fabric. <laughs> Ooh. Nancy bought the Juki TL 2010Q. Haven't had time to take it out of the box yet, but trying to set up the sewing room after moving. A long arm should be here in another week or so. Congratulations, Nancy, on all of that. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> You're your mom. <laughs> You're making all sorts of peanut gallery comments. Yep. That's what she does. It's fine. Welcome those that are joining in. Today I have Becca here sewing with me. If you can't see her little tiny, tiny head down in the little <laughs> corner of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, somebody might not know for all those newbies, but if you type explanation Becca in the chat, it'll give you a link to her channel. Well, also, it's a. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> also, it's a. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that. Yeah. <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, I was going to say. I'm pretty sure people would rather see the fabric than my face. We're good. <laughs> oh, whatever. Oh, well, listen, I'd rather look at the fabric than my face. <laughs> well, everyone's looking at my face. My <laughs> baggy, baggy under eyes because I only had like a half an hour-ish nap. <laughs> okay. I'm Just so tired. But I'm having so much fun. Oh, I told hubby I'll stop buying fabric if he stops buying me craft tools and machines to do those crafts. <laughs> How funny. <laughs> I sure would like to hear a good bird. Hold me closer, Tony Danza. <laughs> I'm seriously going to find the most annoying song and I'm going to sing it to you on a car radio trip and then I'm going to get that stuck in your head instead. <laughs> oh, you're so kind. I love it when you give me earworms. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is Becca live on her channel? Nope. We're just on Tiffany's nope. channel today. You're welcome. Yep. We're, we're trying to make it not confusing by just yeah. having one only. I actually yep. think it's kind of working pretty good. It makes it easier to keep up with the chat because I like it's it's hard if there are two live chats going on in different places. Plus, we figure most of you are subscribed to both of us anyway. Yep. So it wasn't All really the are anything. both of our channels right now. Yep. It was, I was just like, you know what, Tiff? You take the live. I'll just join you. <laughs> yep. Oh, this is so gunky. Look at my inside of my rotary thing. Wait, um, hold on. I want to see. Yeah. I want to see. And it's hanging out. Oh. I literally need to take it apart. <laughs> That's like when somebody has a booger Even hanging the off the side. end of their nose. Even the back side is full of it. It's so gross. Oh my gosh. There. That's funny. Oh, that's great. That's the only thing about the Martelli cutters. They, they really get dirty in there. They do. They collect lots of lint. <laughs> This is pretty much the best block ever. Because it's big and easy. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, 
I'm a cheap date. Just ask my husband. <laughs> so bad. So bad. <laughs> I'm gonna change my channel name to So Bad. <laughs> Just call yourself So Badka. <laughs> so Badka. So Badka. <laughs> Okay, there's block number three. Sue wants to know if you if you've learned to use your ninety nine hand crank yet. Uh, it's a thirty eight, but no, I have not. I am taking it with me on retreat next month, though, so that you can learn how to use it. So that I can learn how to use it. I would like just to have one of those just to go outside and sit and just crank away. I, I think, I, well, I mean, it's all that, what I don't know is like, how do I wind the bobbin and stuff? And it's probably all very basic stuff. I just haven't sat yeah. down and left with it because I'm kind of afraid to break it. Oh, don't be afraid to break it. Just use it. It's lasted That's this true. long. It should be a uh, 100% able to keep going. <laughs> That's that's very very valid point, my friend. You know what I would not would like right now? Hmm. Rhonda said, "My sewing room is fabulous. I need to do a tour." Yes, you do. I, I did one of my messy before. sewing room. You need to do one of your nice, clean, super fresh sewing room. It's yeah. You can pick those up. Thank you. And all of your organizational skills. skills. Yeah, I will. It's on my list. I would I, you know, mom, what you should do for me, if you could, can you remind me to make an agenda for what I would want to put in that video? Can you put it in Monday for me? Create sewing room tour agenda. Because I there's things that I want to talk about when I do my tour. And the lack of having that organized or that agenda or like the bullet points that I want to cover is kind of preventing me from even recording. So, you go to monday.com and under videos, just put an, I'll do it. <laughs> Mama's still learning. No, but I've shown her how to do this multiple times. If you guys didn't know, Mama is doing Becca, trying to do Becca's uh, schedule for her, making sure she trying, stays on track. Trying to help plan my content out. And I'm not doing very well. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you again, okay? No, don't hang your head. I'm not. I don't mean that to be shameful. No, that's not what I mean. Under. Oh, I see. Okay, uh, on the Sew Becca board, where I am. click at the bottom where it says add new group because we don't have a category for this yet. Yeah, just call it like edited videos, right? Because we have one for our live streams. We have one for the sew alongs. You see where I'm going? I'm not getting any verbal response from her, so. <laughs> okay. I, but I wasn't sure if you heard me. <laughs> okay. It, it, no, expand it like you would the live streams group and add a creative in there for sewing room tour. So under two items. No, no. Expand the group that you just created. Right. And then it brought up new items. I know what you want me to do, but I'm over. It's called a creative, not an item. So I'm confused. <laughs> Around to it said, remember, she taught you how to use a spoon. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> Would you? What they said. You taught me how to use a spoon. I'll go get it. <laughs> 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 I swear, your mama is just too funny. DH said, 
said, could one use low volume scraps for background? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. This could, whole thing could be done with scraps. And the stars, like you could do all scraps and have a solid background to, you know, like white or whatever oh, and bring it all together. Or you can just do the whole thing scrappy, low volumes for the ones and darkers for the, the main parts. It would look cool either way. Or you could just scrap up all the pieces itself and, you know, not have 16 That's blocks different. of all different colors. I put the sub item in there to create the agenda, which is what I wanted you to do. There you go. But under edited videos, any of those video ideas that we want to do, we can throw them in there as a creative and then we'll plan them out. So. Teresa Louise said she taught and she taught you to use the potty. Do you guys want to know, mom, what's the story about how I was potty trained? No, let me tell you, let me tell you my version of it because my version is more entertaining. Oh no, you trying to crack in the floor and running you to the bathroom. So I have a sister who's 18 months and three days younger than me. And I have a brother who is 18 months and seven days younger than her. Do you sense a pattern? Then we waited four years. And then there was four years, and then my baby sister came along. So my mom decided that she did not want to have two babies in diapers. And so when I was 18, 18 months old, 18 months old, like days before my sister, she was already born. oh, she was already born. Sorry. So just after she was born, my mom potty trained me in a weekend. Like apparently I was potty trained overnight or something. You You're so smart. That's gotta be why. Fastest. <laughs> I was the fastest. Getting you to go pee on the potty was no problem. You're all about that. But I wanted to poo on the floor. You were squatting. <laughs> <out of> <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, go in here, go in here. And you never tried to poop in the floor again. You never pooped yourself again. <laughs> Does anybody else like, okay, this is maybe TMI, but I do it and my mom, I didn't know that nobody else did it until my mom asked me why I do it or if I still did it. When you're, yes, when you're done, you know, going number one, if it's a, or two. no, no, just number one, mostly, but yeah. when you're done relieving yourself and it's a lot, do you like shake a little just to like, <laughs> cause I do. <laughs> so you, you, you wiggle your booty on the to toilet. <laughs> yeah. But it's like my whole body just kind of goes to <laughs> Like, like I have a shiver. <laughs> Come on. So you get the, the potty chills. <laughs> what? Marie said I do. See, I'm not the only one. Oh, do you? Well, then why were you making fun of me? When you, why were you like, why do you do that? Do you still do it? <laughs> it's, it's okay. was, do you still do it? Oh, my oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Whatever. You don't say ham a gaper no more. Ham a gaper? I didn't used to say hamburger. I used to say ham a gaper. Yeah. K pitch for ketchup. Uncle Ralph was always Uncle Fox. And she couldn't say Ralph. Okay. I couldn't say fork, but I'm not going to say the word I said. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, Marie said, no, I don't. Becca, that was to Rhonda. So apparently Rhonda doesn't do it either. Damn. <laughs> Nobody else shivers when they're done peeing. Damn. I do if I'm standing. Do you, yes. do you pee standing up? <laughs> I know how to, yes, and I'm very good at it. I it's probably TMI and people don't want to know it, but yes. No, I, I can do it. I can do it too. And I will tell you, I have gone to very fancy places dressed up very nicely and have not wanted to wait in the horrendous line for the women's restroom mm -hmm. when the men's line has nobody in line and it's completely empty. I'll go to the men's restroom and I don't care. Oh, no, I'm not waiting. This is stupid. We don't have to worry about that kind of thing no more though, because now men's rooms and 
women's rooms are one. Not always, but it's not getting always, to be more. But most places. Yeah. Uh, Teresa wants to know: Are we making the whole quilt eventually? <laughs> I don't know if we're doing it on the live stream. No, Tiffany's might not be doing done. Live. <laughs> I might still be working on this in a couple of days. Becca has work and all that kind of stuff, and I have me. <laughs> just well, this is your job, and though, do nothing yeah. all day. Actually, no. I do things all day. I work. This I film. I have been filming for like a week and a half now. I've just been doing way too much filming lately. But that's not even going to be seen for a while because it's totally not near being done. <laughs> Welcome to Tiffany's live stream where we talk about defecating ourselves. You're welcome. Yeah. We talk about things that only friends can talk about. Life. <laughs> For everybody she here. doesn't shiver, but she does move around. See? Oh, see, a couple other people are in here. Yup, you're not alone. I do it too. So many. I am normal somewhere. I do get the chills sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Going to the bathroom. And I gotta go pee pee. You know. I think it's because the bathroom is the coldest room in the house. <laughs> oh. That's not the type of shiver I'm talking about. Today. I know. Okay, bye mom. You Where just you like going? to shake, rattle, and roll. I don't know why she just threatened me with that. I don't know what I did. Mom's getting ready to leave. Okay, Mom. I don't understand. I'm getting ready to go. All right. I understand. I am going to keep working on this. Oh, I got three done. Mama's lying. She's just getting up because she drank too much coffee and it's going rapid. Really? <laughs> Oh, goodness. Mom wants to go put on her nightgown and get under a, the, her quilt. I want to put my nightgown on. Let's do it. I'm telling you what, there ain't nothing like sitting around a nightgown. I sit around in nightgowns all the time. I know. Hey, let's have... Let's um, have a pajama party. We should one of these times a pajama. Yeah. yeah, we should. We should totally put like pigtails in our hair. If you wear a retainer to bed at night, <laughs> if you have dentures, take your teeth out, like walk around in house shoes and then wait for the comments to roll in that talks about how you're not camera ready. <laughs> Oh, Teresa, thank you for doing that. I didn't know she had the link to the pattern. Oh, I mean, I will use the... Uh, Teresa said she means... I think people were saying they, they will use the men's room. Not that they shiver. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dang. They just like that we're talking about everything, too, though. Like, that we're just a super open bunch. But this is the things that Becca and I talk about when we're not live, live streaming. <laughs> <laughs> Our conversation. We're keeping this 100% real. And that's why those of you who haven't subscribed to, to, to Becca should go subscribe to her because she does the same thing on her channel. 100% real laugh funny. Okay, sounds good. Go put in your pajamas, go watch the little house on the prairie. I'll come down after the light. Yeah, I won't be eating that. Too many points. Oh What? I dropped your stuff. Are they all clipped? Yeah. Then it's fine. Ah, okay, Teresa. I kind of figured something was there. No, Mary, this does Aww. not have many matching seams, which is a good thing. 
she ordered uh, the pattern so that she could make this so that she has stuff to practice on when her new long arm comes. I think this would be a great quilt to put on the long arm and practice some nice intentional quilting. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to quilt this with stars because it's got stars all over it. That's nice. I want to try to learn a new star. Okay. But I'm having a really hard time keeping up with the chat and Tiffany and the project and talking to you. Okay. I, but you may have to end up repeating yourself later. Marla's Marla said she there's a quilt shop in her area that has pajama party sales every year, January in January, nine to eleven. If you wear jammies, you get forty percent off of your total, clears out their inventory for the end of the year. And she said she wore curlers. <laughs> Nice. That's actually a good idea for Thank quilt you. shops. I am taking, it is taking me a little bit longer to sew my pieces together because as I'm sewing each of these snowballs on, I'm taking a second stitch uh, about a half inch away from where I just sewed. So that I already have these little tiny half triangle, triangle units. Later. Yep. I think Tiffany, you were saving them to sew them off camera. Yeah, I was just going to sew them all later. Makes sense. I have an obsession with just sitting here and sewing half square triangles off screen when I'm not doing anything, and I just want to sew something. I just sew all my half square triangles or my hourglass blocks, you know. Um. Yep, Teresa McBrayer is reminding us that Fat Quarter Shop has a ton of downloadable free patterns. That's correct. They yes, sure do. They do. Uh, da, 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 da. I, you know, I have really taken to playing with tiny pieces off camera. Yes. Or when I don't have, like, something I, there's, yeah, there's just something fun about putting a tiny block together. Yep. So I, have actually gone all out and invested in some storage containers. I went to the dollar store and picked some stuff up. I also ordered some storage containers off Amazon and I've created a bin. Tiffany and I were talking about scrap organization. She has a whole video on this. You can go see it, but we were talking about scrap organization. And while she keeps tons of different sizes, I know my scraps are always going to have a purpose. And that purpose is that they're really going to be to make miniature blocks so, um, and by miniature blocks, I mean, I want my blocks to finish at like two inches. I want tiny blocks. So I have decided that the cuts that I'm going to focus on are one inch, one and a half inch, two inch, and two and a half inch. And anything bigger than that, oh, and three and a half inch. I have a three and a half inch in there too. Anything bigger than that <clears throat> will be like a bigger section but i guess really my scraps aren't scraps i think they're crumbs <laughs> yeah so maybe i'm doing crumb piecing and not scraps i don't know but i, I did actually start organizing them i just don't bother coordinating them by color or anything i just keep them organized by size because I could get really crazy with all that organization very quickly and it could take over my life. So I have to hold back. I have a lot of Hello, firsts in here. this huh? wonderful quilt here. A lot of firsts. First time using all only basic colors, even using only white as my background. And first time starched all the fabric. Remember, I did starch it all. Like, I did. And it smells like starch every time I'm ironing over it. <laughs> <laughs> this thing ain't laying very flat, you know, even with all that starch. Well, maybe it's because you're pressing on a smaller surface. What if you took it to the ironing board? I don't feel like getting up. <laughs> well... Just put it in a pile and press them all later. You don't have to press them on camera. We're not going to put the whole quilt top. We're just building blocks. Yep. 
But just so everybody knows, we did cut out everything for the whole quilt up. Mm -hmm. And if you we want to be prepared out... to this video, <laughs> it's almost like we planned it, but didn't. Tell yeah. You. <laughs> planned it secretly and then pressed go live. <laughs> yep. And then pressed go live. <laughs> yep. Uh... So there's my next block. All right. Back to the as other camera. It should take the minute for me to do every time. I definitely need to find an easier way for that. All right, so that's four blocks down. Woohoo! Now to make a super pretty purple or purple one because that one was light purple. Ooh, nice. ooh, ooh! Tim, Dark with those. Purple. You could, if you wanted to, put the sashing and cornerstones in between those four blocks to build out a quadrant of the quilt. Um, Just put it, another block together. <laughs> I was going to say, because I um, got to go to the pattern. One, two, three, four. It's only on one, two, three, because there's nine. Yeah, okay. All right. I could. Or I can put my pretty purple block together. <laughs> I think we should put the pretty purple block together. Yep. I'll have this beautiful purple. Nancy <laughs> Gas said she loves the purple. Yep. It's got so the stars on this one are silver instead of the off white, like the most of the other colors. So it's very, very pretty. Okay, Marie, enjoy feeding your animals. I need to feed myself sooner or later, too. It's already four. Bacon. Bacon. Maybe. Maybe. Bacon. Oh, I, found one of those, I found one of those pieces, remember, that we were cutting and I had selvage in it. Well, it's getting covered right up right now. <laughs> Have a lovely evening. Bye, Debbie. Yep, it was my purple that had the salvage. Oh, yeah. All the edge pieces. It's getting covered, though, which is good, I guess. Well, not I guess. It is good. You still using your knee lift? I am. Good. So I much am. easier, right? It is, but I have a metal bar on my sewing cabinet that was causing, like, I could hear the metal bar vibrating whenever uh -huh. I would sew fast. And so I was like, well, that's not good. So I had to, <laughs> you're going to laugh at me. The way I made it work is I took a bobbin boat. <laughs> And I wrapped it around the knee, like the bar for the knee bar. Whoa. So now I don't hear the metal clinging every time I sew. And yeah. that was the trick for me. Like that. With the bobbin boat, huh? My bobbin boat's keeping my knee bar from hitting my the metal bar. Sewing cabinet. Oh. Yep. Yep. That's yep. kind of yep. cool, though. Makes it whatever works. That's right. I love it because I was like the other day I was doing Dresden's for Eric so long with the 5252 and I was yeah. making my Dresden blocks and it's really nice when you're doing Dresden blocks because you need both of your fingers so that you can line those pieces up so that both tips come together properly and yep. it's really nice to have a knee lift for that kind of stuff. 
when you need two hands. I was so mad too, because I had to applique them as well on my little brother machine and that don't have a knee lift. So I was oh, like, I need to lift it every time to turn because I did the two inch, um, the two inch Dresden. So I was literally lifting my presser foot like every two seconds. So two seconds, lift it. So two seconds, lift it. <sighs> if I would have had a knee lift, it would have made it so much better. Yep. But that Maria machine said it. to cut a piece of a pull needle to put around knee lift. That's basically what I did, but I did it with my bobbin boat. Yep. And the bobbin boat is really small too, so it fits in tight places, right? Yep. And I only needed it in that one like one inch section. I didn't need it on the whole meter. Yeah. Hey, Teresa, thanks for sharing that link. Yeah. She's on top of it. Are you feeling any better? I know people have been asking you, but I don't. I Who, been, me? No, Teresa. Teresa wasn't oh, feeling well. Yeah, I know. I, How are you she, doing? She wasn't on for her Sunday. I know. I got up from my nap and I was like, where are you? So I messaged her. <laughs> Is everything okay? Because <laughs> usually she's still on when I get up from my nap before my so Sunday, you know? So yeah. I, I woke up and I was like, where's Teresa? And I'm looking all over Facebook or YouTube and I'm like, I don't see her. She must be uh, not on today. But she told me what was going on and I already knew because she had did a lot of traveling. So in a like a quick short period of time and then yeah and lots of stress and other things so she said she's getting better edith young has a question she says i rarely use green fa green fabric it's my least favorite color what is your least favorite brown what's yours yeah i'm not a big brown fan unless it's the right setting um, but I think even worse than brown for me is, well, no, maybe not. I don't like orange. Brown just looks like mud. It looks like all the colors were combined together. So yep. you've got to, like, in order for the brown to really work for me, it's got to have a design that I'm just like, okay, I really love that print. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really care for brown too much because what do you put brown in quilts are supposed to be bright and cheerful they're not supposed to look and resemble poop <laughs> <laughs> well i could see using a lot of brown for like civil war or reproduction oh well yeah or... and i've done that because i've made with the civil war fabric reproduction fabrics i've done quilts with those so brown goes great with that stuff but yeah. When it comes to just grabbing a fabric color from a shelf, I do not gravitate towards browns. Teresa said black or grunge would be her pick. And Tracy said she doesn't like brown either. So if brown is your least favorite, we all know the answer to this, but let's just go ahead and ask. If brown is your least favorite, then what's your favorite? Purple! We all knew that. <laughs> purple, purple. Teresa says she thinks brown looks good with pink. I think brown can look good with some things. Yeah. So I won't say no, but orange, I even when it does, look, even when orange goes with the palette, I still don't like it. That's really? why I said like I'm yeah, like I'm tossed between brown and orange because I don't like brown, but if it's with the right color combination, it could be a good neutral. And if it has the right print on it, I'm gonna be okay. But if it's orange, I'm never gonna be okay. I don't like orange. And your favorite is starts with a B, right? Yep. And next letter is an L. Yep. And, and then not the next one the U. Are you just going to spell it out? <laughs> and then there's an E to end it off, right? I mean, I may have painted that color on two of my walls in my studio. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy said she loves navy and orange together. Navy and orange together. Isn't that a football team's colors? <laughs> it's, a. Uh, it's, um, oh. um, um. It's like Georgia or something. Color. Yeah, Isn't but University of Virginia, Virginia is blue and orange too. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. 
yep, Nancy, my favorite color is blue. And I like pinks too, but I'm a sucker for like an aqua or a turquoise or a teal. Like it'll get me every time. Yeah. Same with me with purples. It could be any shade of purple. It's funny how your colors, like your color taste changes over time. Because I feel like for a long time I was like, oh my goodness, pink, 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 <laughs> pink. And now I'm just like, oh, pretty pink. Blue, 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 blue. <laughs> you know what? Mine has never changed, though. Even since I was a little girl, my cousins would buy me all my clothes when we'd go places. They'd buy purple. They'd buy purple lunchboxes for me, purple shoes for me. Like, everything was purple all growing up. And still, I'm purple. But my other favorite color is pink. So, you know, pink and purple, kind of like. I do like pink. I'll go with a pink and a blue, which pink and blue make purple. Yep. By the way, uh, somebody said, Susan Harbour said, fabulous nails, Tiffany. Thank you. They go with my little Ferrari right here. Wouldn't that be cool if I could find a place that would paint my Juki Ferrari red for me? Oh, that would be so fun. I wonder if it's possible to get these painted. I bet I it mean, is. Can. I wonder if I wonder if they do like machine wraps. Oh, that would be cool. But yeah. you'd have to take it to get it done. You can't do it yourself to have it wrapped because they use a heat gun for wrapping. Oh. I watched I watched a wrap videos, a few wrapping videos of different items. And most of it's all, anything that's metal, they use heat guns to heat up the, the stuff that they wrap with. Oh, what if they... There's got to be like a vinyl cling that you can do. Yeah. We still have to take it apart for it to fit all the spots. That's true. So you're probably not getting anything different than taking it in and painting it. Yeah. Which is. I, I asked said. Scott about that. Like, I don't know, was it last year or the year before? When we brought my machine in, I was like, you should get my machine painted, my long run, you know? Because there are places that paint long arms. Yeah. But they're not here. They're in Vegas. And I don't know if I oh. want to disassemble the machine to take it to Vegas to be painted and then wait and for however long not having a long arm. <laughs> oh, um, Linda said you should paint it yourself like Victory did, or maybe it's Victoria, did on Sam Legit on YouTube. Hmm. Seems legit on YouTube. Oh, got seems, it. Seems legit. Yeah, I, I'm going through reading. It's probably Victoria on Seems Legit or Victory. I don't know. I think I've watched the Seems Legit channel before because it sounds familiar. Oh, I watch all sorts of stuff. Terry said, I just called my sister-in-law about painting a sewing machine. She said a body and Felder place should be able to do it. Oh. Where did you get your decals that are on your Juki, Tiffany? They came from urbanelements.com. Elements spelt with a Z at the end. They're called machine tattoos. And they have tons of them. They have flowers and... Uh, the these butterflies and they have all sorts of stuff they have uh cowboy hats and shoes and boots and oh, shoes and boots are the same thing you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> with the horse the horseshoes and stuff and they have um stars ones with stars i saw on there once when i was looking they have all sorts of them i want some dolphins Dolphins. I don't know. I don't or know if I saw whales. dolphins in there. I'd love um, like a humpback whale. A blue Patty whale says she made back. Donna Jordan's gradient quilt in brown. She calls it the butt, ooh, butt ugly brown quilt, and it looks really <laughs> nice, but it it'll probably never make another brown quilt again. <laughs> a butt ugly brown quilt. <laughs> That's funny. 
and said that she can make those decals with her brother scan and cut. I'm just saying, oh, really? if somebody were to send me a beautiful humpback whale yeah. for my machine, it would probably come, Bubba would sport it proudly. Bubba got his first tattoo, or her, sorry, her. Bubba got her first tattoo today. Yeah. What is it? It's a straight line with a Sharpie marker. Oh, <laughs> It'll fade, by the way. The Sharpie will fade. That's why I did mine in pencil. That's okay. I yeah, can put it back. It, it fades after a while. Because I did the Sharpie line thing, too. But I've had my machine for six years. And, well, it's definitely not even noticeable. But the pencil mark is still there. Ooh. Donna said that her she loves her brown and pink quilt. But blue is my favorite color. Hmm. All right, just lay this block out now. A nice pretty purple one. <laughs> Is that block number five for you? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm finishing four. Woo -woo. No worries, guys. We're not racing. We're just having fun. But I seem to be a quick sewer. Even while reading the chat, but I'm not reading them all out loud because some of them aren't, there's no purpose in reading them out loud. I just give up on trying to be faster than Tiffany and I'm just enjoying going. <laughs> I've taken, I've, I think I probably would be a little bit closer had I not stopped for like tech and stuff, but yeah. I don't even care because it's going to get done and it's going to be gorgeous. And I'm, it's not about being fast because when you're trying to be fast, you do stupid things like this. Tiffany, look what I did wrong. Oh, <laughs> you did it again. I did it again. <gasps> rip, this rip, block rip. should be on rip, this rip, side. Rip, rip, goes the back up. <laughs> See, when I'm worried about keeping up, I make stupid oh, mistakes and then I end up getting slowed down again. Well, just and then. Do what you do and enjoy it. That's right. You don't have to pay attention to everything in the chat. I miss like a bazillion of it. Beth is oh. here. Hi, Beth. Hello, Beth. Hmm. Tracy from the Sewing Channel says she struggled putting the brown wood fabric in her window box quilt. No desire to finish it because of the brown, she thinks. Really? My husband's in I say that she should finish it, whether it has brown or not. And just if you don't like it, give it away. Do a giveaway. Give it away. On give, it away give it away now. I knew we were going to sing that. Prehistoric know-how. And I'm not even singing the real song. I'm singing the Weird Al version. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this time I'm actually chain piecing all the pieces first. See how it goes without putting them back where they go kind of thing. Maybe... I'm like trying to find the easiest way of doing this, you know, doing it over and over and over again for 16 blocks. I am so sure far. you will find a way. Oops. So far, they all seem to be just as fast. <laughs> you know what definitely is quick. not as fast? What? Seem when you have to stop and see. <laughs> Because <laughs> you put the piece on the wrong side. Yep. Heather's just glad we're on tonight. Saved her from abject boredom. <laughs> abject boredom. <laughs> All right. I'm saving myself from um, working on a t-shirt quilt. <laughs> Oh my gosh, how much longer are you going to procrastinate that one? No, it's not. I started it. I've been filming it. I just have hit a roadblock. So that roadblock will 
be attended too soon when I figure out how to attend to it. <laughs> But I'm getting there with it, slowly but surely. T-shirt t-shirt quilts are my like worst enemy. That's, and they're also the your biggest thing. money maker. They're yeah. Like bread and butter. Yeah, they're the one thing I hate, hate, hate doing, but yet I still keep doing them because YouTube don't pay the bills. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <gasps> love them too. Hmm. People love them too. Yeah, true. I love doing my grandma's. My grandma's was fun because I really got to think outside of the box for that one. So, and make that cross and everything. So it was definitely fun to do. And it was great to surprise my grandma with something she didn't even suspect. She just thought it was a bunch of squares put together with some sashing. You know, she didn't know that I was going to be so elaborate with her quilt. Actually, most of my clients don't know I'm going to be doing that with their quilts. They just say, oh, have fun. <laughs> Sorry, going back and forth from both my channels, trying to give you more screen time, etc. My son just said, since you have time, you can learn Zoom. What two channels? I'm Ooh, we're only... Lori Miller said that. I'm not sure... What she's talking about maybe there's another channel that's live and she's trying to watch that one too yeah probably because right now we're just on my channel next time we do something it'll be on becca's that's we're right. playing the swap it game that's right there's no need for the same content from the same viewers to be on two channels at the same time yeah not this i like time, to save I like to save the dual stream for when I have a guest on that is not normally part of like my sewing circle. You know what I mean? Yep. Not part of your everyday. Yeah. <coughs> Put some more water in this iron. All right, so I'm going to lay this out right here so that you guys could stare at it while I go get some water for the iron. Okay. And you can't see me walking around in my boxers. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. They're really awesome, though, because I tie-dyed them on my YouTube channel. <laughs> There's a video. And if you want to see Tiffany's boxers, go check out her channel. Yeah. But I have a question, though. And this is, I mean, I don't mean this to be difficult or mean, but you did a pool video where mm -hmm. you were in the pool, right? Yeah. And you're wearing your swimsuit. So how is it different when you're wearing a swimsuit versus wearing, like, boxers? You're actually covering oh, up more because, of your boxers. Okay. You ready for this? Boxers have a saggy butt because they're technically for men. So it looks like uh -huh. I took a big dump in my pants. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, that's why I am hiding the boxers. <laughs> so it's really more about, like, the flattering cut versus yes. the inappropriateness. Yes. Okay. I was like, why does it matter? Like, you were you just posted a video on a bikini lady. <laughs> yep. I actually got an email from the video in a bikini that said, I had a super rockin' mom bod. <laughs> <laughs> Was that from Riff Raff? <laughs> no. <laughs> I was like super surprised, though. I was like, what? <laughs> I do get some weird emails. <laughs> but what they don't know is I can't have any other type of bod because my body just don't do it. <laughs> yep. I'm stuck being a string bean skinny. Which is so interesting to me because, like, I have problems 
I have problems being too big and I'm trying to lose weight and you're on the opposite end of the scale where you're like, can I please put on like five pounds? Yep. And I got so excited when I did and I messaged you and guess what? I lost it all again. It's gone. Yeah. See, you can't Back keep the weight there. on and I can't nope. keep it off. <laughs> yeah. It's the weirdest thing. I don't know what, what it is, but my doctor tells me, oh, you need to stay above this. And I can't now. It's not coming. To, ever since Valley Fever, I cannot gain my weight back. It's the weirdest thing. Mm. It probably screwed with my metabolism maybe or something. Maybe. I mean, I was on drugs that are for cancer patients. I mean, that's the one thing to kind of take, take into account, though. It's like you never know what somebody's journey is, right? Like, yep, exactly. You know, even if they're on YouTube and you feel like, you know, them, you don't know everything. You only know what they are sharing with you. So just kind of keep that yep. in mind. There are lots okay. of stuff I struggle with. Here's my block. Number four. I'm moving on. to block number <gasps> Oh, five. I like it. It's a really pretty. Yeah. Thank you. Setting them over here off on my Martelli table. Now I'll grab my next stack. You're going to press them all later? No, I'm pressing them as I go. I'm just not squaring mm. them up. Okay. Does it say we have to square them up? I mean, I don't think I, I, I would square them up because I do that. Mine are a little wonky too. Did yours get a little wonky? Is that why you're going to square bit, them? Yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm a square. I'm just most, I'm not good. I don't know if I'm going to pull out like a square ruler and actually make them square to 16 and a half. I think I'll probably no, pull out a ruler. A couple extra little hairs that yep. are hanging over. Yep. Because I have that on mine. It was the two and a half. It was the, the, the rectangle cut. Yep. All those are sticking out beyond, and it's weird because my cuts were all exactly the same, but I guess maybe my quarter-inch seam allowance isn't. I don't know. It should be the same. I'm using my seam thing, my seam guide. Nancy said it's pretty. LCSD said they need to lose 60 pounds. How many blocks are in the pattern? There's 16. It's a Plus 16, borders. 16, Back. 16 inch block quilt. <laughs> That's right. You should have called it the 16 square block. Yeah. Back in those cold blocks are so pretty, guys. I love them. They're nice. Ed, Edith says that she loves the yellow. Oh, it is a pretty yellow that you're on right mm -hmm. now. It is. I have one that's going to be bright yellow. I already did the dull yellow, but the bright yellow looks like it's in the bottom of the stack. I'm not going to go and pull it out. <laughs> there you go. It's going to be cool to be able to see... Uh, after two different quilts made with the same pattern but different fabric yep i love when I, that happens it's also going to be kind of fun too because we're going to have we have all these scraps right and all these extra yep. half square triangle units and we've been talking offline about fun things that we could do either as an after quilt with those on the back or in uh in the borders like building on extra borders to make the quilt bigger so it'll be interesting to see how like even though the center of the quilt might be the same it'll have different fabrics but there's going to be different things that could be happening i think we should do a reveal once we both have them pieced and quilted Yep. All right. There's my purple one. Very pretty. The stars look like polka dots on the screen. <laughs> they do. They really do. It looks like it's just a block filled with polka dotted fabric. Yeah. Janet, Janet says we I are. Oh. Go ahead. I was no, say no. It too. Same Thanks. time. Go for it. <laughs> 
Say it. <gasps> Jenna only just joined this morning, but sh she wants to know what we're working on. We are working on the uh, Magnolia pattern by Becca. Take that one. Sherry and Chelsea, I believe. Ah. Sherry, uh, Chelsea Stranton. That's who it is. It's. Uh, I just pasted the link to the pattern uh, in the chat. All right. Well, I'm going to let you catch up with the block. I will read some comments and sew my half square triangles. That's yeah. part of what's slowing me down too, because I've been because you're that sewing them. Well. You're sewing them right away, and I'm not. Well, get your sewed. Yep. So I will just mindlessly sew all these half square triangles. Mindlessly. <laughs> yep. I'm just gonna. Pay attention to the chat. There you go. Uh, oh, Nancy said she just barely spotted the star in the middle. Yep, the block makes a star slash kind of like a flower. It's like a yep. flower star. Billy has been lurking, watching us on TV, got her iPad so she could say hi. Thanks for the entertainment. Love it. We try to entertain you guys. People can either laugh at you or laugh with you. I prefer they laugh yeah. with you. Yeah. It's going to take me a while to sew all these. Maybe not. Is this the beer? Pam wants to know where she goes for spools. If you type in, uh, a little, you got to go to Becca's website Here. for that to get I'll information. I will give you because we're on my channel only this time. Uh, if it's one of Chelsea's new patterns. While you're doing that, is this one of Chelsea's new patterns? Uh, yeah. Okay. Then, yeah. Edith is still laughing about the boxers. You know? I'm telling you, it just looks like I'm wearing a diaper and I took a doo-doo in it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, it's not very flattering on men, let alone on women. <laughs> That's why they make boxer briefs now, but obviously I'm not wearing those kind. And mine are oversized too, which doesn't help at all. <laughs> Nancy's laughing with us. Oh, that's nice to know, Teresa. She said that Sherry and Chelsea are here in Arizona. Oh. These Arizonians. Go find them. Knock on the door. Can you guys hang out with me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, pattern test. <laughs> Are you turkey? <laughs> Sorry, that's, that's my turkey call. It's a tension breaker. It had to be done. <laughs> it's not that time of year, though, for those. Jason saw a turkey. Crossing the road the other day, like he pulling out the driveway, there goes a big old turkey. <laughs> you have wild turkey where you live? Yes. Really? I have seen I have seen more between Jason and I. We have well, we also have a house in the middle of the forest. Um, but we see, yeah, like there's bears here. There's okay, well, I uh, the bears are scary, but turkeys, turkeys chase turkeys? you around. <laughs> 
You're welcome. I told Jason he well, he saw it was a while ago. I told him he should have got it. And he just told me about it. I was like, why didn't you catch that? That could have been Thanksgiving. Thanks. It could have been, like, oh. been more than just Thanksgiving. Shoot. It could have been Thanksgiving. <laughs> Good ad. Thanksgiving <laughs> and Christmas. Christmas and thanks Christmas. Blah, blah, blah. Thanksgiving and Christmas dinner from one turkey for you guys. Big half for each holiday. Because the wild Teresa. ones, they seem bigger than the ones that are at the store. <laughs> Well, I wonder if that's also because the ha they have like all the feathers and stuff on them. Because yeah. you know how like when you get Thumper wet, Thumper yeah. looks like a drowned rat. You know what I mean? Yeah. He doesn't look so big anymore. Minus his yep. little flab belly that hangs down. Oh, dude. Did I tell you about the dragonfly story? Oh, yeah. The, yeah. Dragonfly in your room. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So let me tell everybody. So else. yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yesterday, well, hold on. Going back to Friday night when I was live streaming, mom decided to door dash some ice cream. And so she goes out my studio door to the driveway, leaves the door wide open while I'm on camera so that she can go get her ice cream from the door dasher. Okay, fine, whatever. Well, while she's out there, some bugs came in, mostly like those stupid little fruit flies, and they're they're coming in because they're attracted to the bright lights that I have in the studio. We're in a wooded lot. I get it. Fine. Whatever. Well, I go up to bed after the live stream and I wake up Saturday morning and no, no Saturday was okay. So I don't know when he came in the house. I thought it was Friday night, but now I'm replaying the timeline in my head and that doesn't work out. So let me just go back. To, I don't know when this happened. However, Sunday morning, I wake up. Jason's gone to go get justice for the night. He's not home. And I'm cleaning something in the kitchen. I don't even know what I was doing in the kitchen. I don't remember. But I look over and the cat's sitting on the floor, staring up at the door that goes onto our deck. And I'm like, oh, okay. That's odd. You're just staring like up at this one spot on the door. Well, I noticed there's something on the door, like hanging on the curtain that we have on the door. So I walk over to go check it out. It's a dragonfly, like hanging on the curtain, like three or four feet up, just hanging there. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, let me shoo him outside so he can live. So I go into the kitchen and I get some stuff to kind of shoo him gently away from the door and that I'm planning to open the door, open the screen door, escort him outside into the wilderness. I pull the door open first, and then I go to shoo the dragonfly away. Well, the dragonfly comes off of the door, and my cat jumps up and goes, Wah! <laughs> and knocks the dragonfly down to the ground, and um, dragonfly is no longer alive. That's the story. Oh, sad. Yeah, but there was a dragonfly on our house. Anyway. That was the story. Anticlimactic. Yeah. <laughs> I actually have a dragonfly tattooed on me. Really? Yeah. It's, where is it? It's right here. Next to my beehive on my arm. I have what's a dragonfly. The story behind, what's the story behind the beehive and the dragonfly? Well, the, there's actually just tons of bugs. This I don't know if anybody ever saw that in videos, but this whole arm is filled with bugs. There's a centipede on the back, and oh there's gosh. a fairy who's naked coming out of a flower, and there's four bees and a beehive, because I'm the beehive and I had four bees. And there's a, a, what is this guy called that goes, oh, why can't the word come to me? An iguana. Yeah, no, no. What's the one that turns colors? When you oh a gecko, uh, yeah, no, I don't know. There's a word. Anyway, one of those <laughs> he turns colors with blends with the background. Oh, chameleon. chameleon, chameleon. There you go. I don't know why the word wasn't coming to me. Um, there's a spider web with a spider in my armpit. There's a ladybug. There's butterflies. There's a big huge. Uh, hummingbird with the big the long-tailed kind what else is there there's a frog a tree frog 
There's a praying mantis. Oh, I saw one of those on the subway one time. That's it. I think I named everything. So why 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 do you want to be covered in bugs? Um, because I just thought they were cool. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to be tattooed with bugs. Okay. And now I don't have a fear of most bugs except for camel spiders. Obviously, I hate those because they bite me. And then brown recruits and, you know, the other Arizona ones. I do have a scorpion tattooed on me. I don't see it on the on a daily, but I'm not 100% run away scared of them. But I do tend to kill them if they're in the house. Uh, yeah. I'm not saving them to be pets. Although I used to when I lived in Golden Valley. I used to get scorpions and tarantulas and put them in cages together so that they can cage fight. Oh, my gosh. And the tarantula, the tarantula was always the loser. Scorpions always eat tarantulas. It kind of sucks. I always thought that the tarantula would eat the scorpion, but scorpions are deadly. Tracy is leaving us. She said good night. Oh, good night, Tracy. I'll see you around on YouTube. Or the Instagram. <laughs> Anna May wants to know how often are you on? I am on whenever I feel like going live, but my regular scheduled time is Sundays at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, Arizona time. I always say that because there's actually two different Mountain Standard times. There's regular Mountain Standard. They have a whatever time. And then there's Arizona time because Arizona does not change time. You don't observe. So we're still anymore. considered Mountain Standard because of I don't know what, but... Your mountain time. Yeah. I so don't know why I heard I, it. I heard somewhere that the way it works is it, it, when you are not observing daylight standards time, daylight savings time, then you are standard time. And when you are observing the daylight savings time, then you're supposed to say like day like Eastern daylight time. So yeah. like if you were to say Eastern Standard Time, then that would refer to a specific time and Eastern Daylight Time would refer to something else. And there are some folks that are very passionate about using the words the right way. So I just say Eastern Time all the time because <laughs> I'm like, I just say ET, Eastern Time, because I, yeah. I don't, I can't remember all that stuff. Yeah. I, in fact, I don't even know why we call it anymore. Well, I've gotten used to just saying Arizona time now. I just say Arizona time. I don't even say that mountain standard. But then some people look it up. There are two areas on reservations in Arizona, or three. I think Scott found it on a thing. There's three, I think, of the reservations that do observe daylight savings. So they do change time. So you can go through the state of Arizona down towards the Phoenix area and go through three different time zones because of it. So they, it goes from like 5 p.m. to 4 p.m., back to 5 p.m. to 4 p.m., you know, just in that short distance of a drive. So now when I say Arizona, I have to be specific that it's mountain centered because we don't change time, but I tend to forget that part often. It's weird. In the summer, Arizona's Pacific time. Yes, that's how you can remember. They run the same as California, Oregon, Washington, Nevada, Utah, Idaho. Yeah. Hello, VR. Hello, hello. Hi, Marge. Hello, everybody coming into the chat that maybe I missed. Oh, we missed everybody. We've slowly I'm been sure. seeing people. <laughs> we didn't do my, the normal hello thing, which I'm going to slow down on that. No offense to all my subscribers, but it takes away from me creating and then I lose track of time just sitting there saying hello to everybody. <laughs> So I do like a quick quickie now and I just say hello real quick to the first like 50 people. <laughs> okay. 
I remember back when I started doing live streams and I would just literally read every single comment and read every single person coming in because I was doing it all by myself out in my garage in the middle of the night. <laughs> Only got a handful of people watching. When yeah. you start getting hundreds of people watching, it can yeah, be well, difficult to keep up with the chat. That's why I've started to lessen the amount of hellos and, and welcomes. I, I mean, I still welcome everybody and stuff, but I've had to lessen it because uh, my channel has grown so much that I have so many people viewing live streams that I can't keep up, and Scott has a hard time keeping up, and he's the one that goes through every comment. I like to keep an eye on it and if something yeah. jumps out at me i'll i'll read it but i also have my mom like my mom is usually sitting listening to or like watching the live chat for as long as she's got the energy she can't always do it but when she's watching the live chat she'll watch and if there's something that needs to get in front of me she'll she'll Make bring sure. it up kind of like what scott does for you right yep very much but she doesn't put every comment in front of me. He doesn't either. He Some of them are the same things he can answer just in the chat, you know, like what kind yep. of machine I have and things like that, the basic yep. stuff. Yep, yep, yep. I'm getting pretty far with these little tiny half square triangles. How many do you have done? How many blocks? I only made five blocks so far. And I'm actually given up on make, making blocks for now. That way we can also enjoy some time with some food in our bellies soon. Because it's getting later for Becca. She's on the East Coast and it's already 5 p.m. my time, which is the time I start eating anyway. So yep. I think I'm going to sew this block and then go. Yep, eat. I'm sewing these pause. and just think we're going to get off of the live stream and have a normal, our normal life things like consuming food to keep us <laughs> sitting upright. <laughs> I know if I don't eat, I get um, like a diabetic. I, I can tell when my sugar is low. So when I don't eat, I get super like, like this weird, like rush feeling through my body. And I get the chills a lot easier. My eyesight gets all blurry. So I definitely know when it's time to eat. Yellow can cause anxiety in large doses. Sharon says, I'm so glad that you slowed down with the hello announcements. Yeah. That's why now that I do the whole, I try to keep on for only two hours or less, you know. Yep. And, yep. and I've slowed down on the hellos so that you guys can get the full amount of everything that I'm doing and I can get more done in a video. Yep. It's, it's working so far. I know if, if my channel keeps growing as it is, and I'm not stopping you guys from subscribing by saying this, but uh, if it keeps growing like it's growing, it's going to be hard for me and Scott both to even see this chat, you know? Yep. So live streams are going to end up like those big channels where they don't even see the comments. <laughs> I don't want it to be that bad, but I'm pretty sure it'll still be a little personal, you know? Where I still see things and respond. But everybody knows if we don't respond in a video, you can always comment in the comments after the fact when the video is over. And we see I, those. I see every one of those. I will say, like the live chat, I can't keep up with while I'm live streaming. But my comments, I read every single comment yep. on my video. Yep, so do I. Every morning, that's my morning routine. And then I try to do it before I go to bed, but I try to do emails at nighttime and, and the YouTube during the morning. I sit and go through all the comments and say hi to people and so on and so forth, answer questions. So if you 
we really don't get answered in the live chats, it's best to just comment after the video. Or send an email. Yep, exactly. Read the, all the emails and all of the comments. And I read all of my Facebook. If you post in the Facebook group, both Becca and I have Facebook groups for our channel. So if you post something, we usually see those too. So if you were yeah, talking about as, here, we see it. I'm, I'm not as on top of the Facebook group because there's like 2,500 people in mine. Yeah, well, I have that same in the mine too. Yeah. I, I see yeah, it, yeah. but that's only because when I go on Facebook, I don't pay attention to personal Facebook stuff anymore. Now it's only, do I. Um, I only go in Facebook for the group. That's it. Yep. For same. The that same. I'm in. I hit the group tab right away and I look at everything in the groups that I'm in. The, the relevant it's not, one. <laughs> it's not the number of people that's in the group that I was going with though. It's there's a lot of people in there, so there can be a lot of activity. But yeah. I have a seven to four, not a nine to yeah. five. I have a seven to four job and I can't be on Facebook at work. So I can't keep on top of that, but I can check email and I can, I do get notifications on my phone when people leave comments. So I make sure to start aside time for email and comments. And then if I've got time, I'll go into Facebook and I'll look at the group or look at someone else's group. I like looking at the Facebook posts in both of our groups. Yeah. I don't like the Facebook though. When somebody right now, I don't know why they do this, but Facebook has it where you post something. And then if someone comments on a picture, say someone posted three pictures in their post, that Facebook will separate that picture and make a new post out of it and put it at the top. Weird. And I'm like, I already saw that picture. But, and then you scroll down like 20 posts and then you find the original post that had all three pictures in it. Facebook separates the pictures now. If someone comments on a picture by itself directly, very weird. They started doing that this year. And I think it's the weirdest thing, like it's separating everything in the groups. So I'm kind of seeing some things double because it does that. Hmm. And I don't know how to stop it either because I'm not a, you know, designer of Facebook and I don't know how to code. <laughs> At least the group, you know. I'm trying to get my fabric lined up. There we go. I agree with you, Tiff. I don't like how Facebook does that either. If that's what Amy said. Yeah. <laughs> Nancy said, we are both great at responding. I try to respond That's to right. some of them, but I know I can't catch everyone. I try to get off, uh, get on all the comments as much as possible. Yep. Annette wants to know, she said she had to go for a while. Not sure if what she answered. Does one block of the print fabric equal one fat quarter? Yeah, each fat quarter had the pieces cut for one block out of it, but there's still plenty left over in the fat quarter after you cut out your one block's worth. You can't yep. get full. I don't think you can get full two full blocks from it, though, but you can definitely no, get one can't. and something different. Yep. Because if it was two blocks worth, they would have had us do an eight piece bundle instead, you know? You could you could also like recalculate the quilt if you yeah. wanted to duplicate some of the stars. You could resize the block and do some math. Yeah. Yep, you could do that. Robin got rid of Facebook. <laughs> We only, I only use Facebook now because of my family and because of the group. That's it. I don't use it for anything else. I went through and removed a whole bunch of people from my friends list. So I was like, you know, I don't really use this. Yeah. And it's not because like, I don't use it. I use it for the group. If you want to interact with me on Facebook, go to a group. 
Yeah. I don't even use my personal page anymore. I use my personal one because of my family. And that's it. Because a lot of my family that live in California still use Facebook. But that's also on Instagram. My family uses Instagram. But I think my Instagram has been taken over by only quilting. So my family's probably tired of seeing it. That's why I have a personal Facebook for the family, you know. Because I don't, I don't po heavily post quilting related stuff so that I don't annoy people that, you know, don't follow my YouTube channel. Has anybody ever called Facebook fake book? Fake book? Fake book. Fake book. Oh, yeah, I've seen that before. I've seen people call it fake book. Because that's what I feel like it is. I think Instagram is fake. All those fake things is people are making videos with all those filters that make them look like what they're not. What is that called when you're not? Um, what is it called catfish. when you don't? Yeah, catfishing is 100% a catfishing site. <laughs> Posting nothing but pictures with yourself with blue eyes and Barbie faces and you technically have brown eyes and you're... 55 years old, you know, saying you're 20 because the filter makes you look that way. There's tons of it on there. The one thing I do like on there is lots and lots of quilt stuff. If you type in quilts of Instagram, the hashtag, and look on Instagram, there's so many quilts because everybody uses that. That hashtag. I messed it up again. Did you? Yeah. How do you keep doing it, even with it right in front of you like that? Oh, uh, because I'm not paying attention. And I wasn't bugging you. No, you weren't. <laughs> you Uh, Becca is uh, Quiltessa is looking at a b, b in Vegas with an indoor pool. What? Hey, I'm Something just saying. I could use in a January or a February. What? Let's go. Send me an email, Quiltessa. We'll have a little chat. <laughs> you know, like, tell, give me an idea of what my cost is going to be and when it's going to when it's going to happen. It sounds yeah. like you'll have lots of people that'll want to go, but uh, I'm not planning it. Uh, once is again, this is not Tiffany. Is that close to me? I thought Quiltessa yeah. was close to me on this side of the country. No, I think she's in Florida. There's one of those names that has that in it that's on this side. And I can't remember who it is because, you know, it's hard to remember everybody and where they are. Well, yeah. I try to, but like I said, that's what name tags would be good for <laughs> if I was to go to a retreat, because I don't remember. Just like uh, state tags. I don't remember where you're from. <laughs> Maybe if like if we ever got to go to a retreat, if I ever went to a retreat where I didn't know everybody there, I think that would be a good thing. Like put your put your name and your state like where are you from yep. put your name that'd be cool that helps too because you're making friends at these retreats and if you both are from virginia you know if you're only like two hours away you could have to totally like a weekend every month to sew together and and make a good friend you know what i mean yep. i think that's a See, smart idea meeting at retreats and being able to do that i was right um, Quiltessa lives in the Orlando area. Ah, okay. I was right. I only remember that because, it, to be honest, I remember that because um, my friend Kathy has a quilt shop on the east coast of Florida, and I, I believe Quiltessa asked about the location of the quilt shop before, oh, and has mentioned okay. that she was going to go. So I was like, okay, I think she's in Florida. I'm not sure where, but within driving distance. <laughs> Bye, VR. <sighs> Edith says right. you're just hungry. It happens when you're hungry. You start screwing up. I am yep, hungry, I too. Agree. But this is my last scene. 
and then I will have five blocks done. Awesome, because I have the same. All right, and so my Casper triangles are made too. So awesome, you are caught up. We are exact you are, now. Well, you are still ahead. Because <laughs> I am just now sewing my last seam. So what's our plan for the rest of this project? Are we going to do this only on live stream, do you think? Um, or are we going to work on this to? offline and then show everybody? Um, I don't know, because of your schedule and my schedule and how be we... crazy, right? Yeah, I mean, when when's your next holiday day off? Like, what is another Fourth uh, of July? Fourth of July. I don't, of July. Go, I don't really want to work on this in the Fourth of July. No, why don't I'd we just do work on it again. offline? Yeah, we can just do this off camera, and then we'll both post to the group and Instagram when we're finished with it. Yep, that'll work. And then you guys can see what we both have created: same pattern, different fabrics. There you go. It's going to be really pretty. What are you going to do with yours? What am I going to do with it? Um, yeah. It'll probably go in my for sale bin. <laughs> but I'm... whenever I can get to quilting it, quilting it, not just the top. <laughs> um, I, I have to have some back. How, what size does this turn out again? 74 Seven, by 74 something. before any extra borders. So, yeah, I would need some backing fabric. Um, yeah, I was saying, I was looking for the pattern to see, but you said it too fast. I had the, trying to open the pattern on the iPad. <laughs> do you want to do a parade of our finished blocks so everybody can see them one last time before oh, we finish? Yeah. Yeah, Why don't you go first since I'm pressing bring my Bring these over here and I will hold each block up. So my first one was brown. Poop brown with some stars, you know. Just know you need to go to a doctor if you're seeing stars after taking a poop. <laughs> the next one is. <laughs> <You're not. laughs> Sorry. The next one is like a lake blue. I'm trying to describe these as best as possible. So, you know. <laughs> no, you if you're seeing stars and this color, blue water, you're swimming in the lake at night. This one is like a, I don't even know. This is a very light yellow. The camera is not even picking it up right. It's a little bit darker than the camera. So if you're seeing stars and you're craving a lighter mustard, then it's not spicy enough for you. And then... <laughs> Next one is lavender with stars. And I have nothing for lavender because, you know, no funny thing for that. And the next is purple nurple. And obviously the stars are so pretty. Oh, purple nurple. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm the weirdo. All, All right, right, let's Edith, see yours. Edith said I'm going to send her the yellow square. So I have to make one more. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, hold on. People really like your blocks. They really love your darker colors. Heather says, are you speaking from personal experience through about the poop thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See the doctor. <laughs> uh, Janet Johnson wants to know, is it on anyone's YouTube channel? I don't know what you're talking about. Like, are you talking about this? Like, cause it, it's here. Yeah. And I've not seen this pattern on anyone else's. So we must be the first. Maybe here, there we'll go like this. Maybe was that better? Just make yeah. yourself big so I could see too. Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. Here we go. This is my blue. It's so pretty. In fact, I feel like you'll get a better shot of it down here because the colors yeah, I can are see more of the 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 flowers in it. Yep. So this is the blue one. And then it's the same print in a pink or like a corally type. Coral. Color. It looks coral. Yeah. Yep. I love the secondary the pattern that happens. Yep. That makes me so happy. And then there's this gray brown. It's like a taupe. Yep. And I like the flowers on that one. Mm -hmm. I do. See, that's what I was saying is like, I normally wouldn't go for this color, but the yep. print. 
yep. really does it, it for the, me. The daisies on it. Yep. And then this one is another blue. It's a pretty one. I like that color. And then this is the one that I am not giving away, <laughs> but there's the yellow. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what's really weird is that we both have totally different fabric lines and uh, in my stack for later to do we have pretty much all the same colors like our palette is still the same because i have i have that same coral in here oops right yep. there and i have the blue and i have more uh browns and greens and yeah we have the same colors just different fabrics kind of cool yep 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 the uh the pattern is available on fat quarter shop teresa had a link so maybe if yeah teresa it's just, just recently it. work if it doesn't work try going to fat quarter shop and searching yes okay it's called magnolia by whatever yep. i forgot the name just i'll show the pattern one more time maybe maybe yeah, maybe baby she will show you this is the pattern one more time. This is what it looks like. It's called Magnolia by Chelsea Stratton Designs. It is going to measure 74 inches by 74 inches with, if you make it as written, it will require 16 fat quarters, four and a half yards of your background, three quarters of a yard for binding and four and five eighths for your backing. Now the cuts, that fabric requirement the it does re have a little bit of extra i had a little bit of extra from my backing i probably only needed like four and a quarter yards for my back background and then from each of the fat quarters we had a good chunk do you have a piece of your like one of the pieces left yep so Sean i put it in my little out. project bag your chunk that you'll have left from the fat quarters is literally like a four and a half inch piece yep you know plus all the other little cutoffs from the other end so there's a bunch of other yep. little chunks so you'll have quite a bit of fabric left like all this was left over from all those cuts i put it all in this bag so it's a whole there's other a lot project. in here yeah you can there's make a whole a beautiful quilt here add some more of my background fabric and bam i have a whole nother quilt yep you can make an after quilt like Karen Brown talks about for the backing if you wanted to. Yep. Um, you could use all that to make. So it's if you look at the pattern, there's a very thin white border that goes around this so that the it mm -hmm. looks like everything's floating. But you could take those scraps and make a really scrappy outer border. You That's what I plan to do with it. mine. <laughs> yep. I, and then I, use the half square triangles for a secondary project. Yep. I mean, for every block that you make if you, you take 24. the time yep if you take the time to piece these you have yep. 24 teeny tiny half square triangle units that will probably finish at an inch they are depending on your seam not allowance. quite two they're not yeah, quite it two looks like they're an inch and a half yeah. i would probably square them at an inch and a half but yep. it's a they'll finish at an inch and they're going to be super cute like could you just imagine like if i scattered some one inch finished half square triangles like around just in a yep. random way and yep. have them float i don't have cute. to have enough to go around the whole thing but i can do that and then i can put another white another white border around mm -hmm. that to make those look like they're floating and then if yep. i wanted to grab like one of these prints that i just love to really make a nice big thick border that's going to be gorgeous so we'll see yep but i got a ton of triangles now <laughs> so yep same here all yep. right everybody well we are both going to get off of here because becca needs to eat like an hour and a half ago and yep. it's now my dinner time and i feel it i feel it i need to eat so and i need to go spend some time with scott so thank everybody thank you all for hanging out with us just randomly out of the blue uh -huh. i hope you guys enjoyed that and we'll see you when we see you don't forget to head over to becca's channel and give her a subscribe and watch her videos too because, you know, you never know when we're going to pop on and do something fun. So, yeah, that's it. That's all I got. You want to say your line on my channel? Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> when you said that for a second, I was taken back to, so Tracy had Tiankum from So Yeah on her channel and she uh -huh. was trying to teach him her intro and her outro because she has uh -huh. the like enough talking already. Let's get like, that's, that's her whole thing. Right. And then at yeah. the end of all of her videos, she's like, take care. Like she says it very purposefully. And so they had an mm -hmm. outro of like her trying to teach Tiankum the inflection I that she did. It. And that's where my mind went. I was like, oh, wait. Oh, yeah. So, okay. I'm live Friday night at 8 p.m. You guys probably already know that. If you don't, I'm live Friday night at 8 p.m. Come on over to my channel and check me out. But uh, what she's really talking about is you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here because we're ending the live. So, bye. <laughs>